Hi again, here we are with the Fisher Technique Robo TX Explorer. Now I'm going to put this one together today for you guys. Here we have the manual. You can make all the different robots. There's uh, six different models you can make with this uh, kit. And today we're going to be building the RoboTX Explorer. This one right here. We are just building the main frame for the robot here. Here we have the base and the model of the robot here. The two motors. Now I'm going to go ahead and start making the tracks. Now we're just building the tread. I'm going to add all these individual pieces inside. Here we are just putting in the battery pack. There you have it. And now we're just putting on the treads. Now that we're finished with the chassis and motors here, we're going to need something to control it. So we're going to be using the Fisher Technique Robo TX controller, which comes with a 32 bit processor and Bluetooth as well. Close above the controller, we have the USB interface, four motor outputs, eight inputs, and four counters. Here it is all wired up. Now we're just finish putting on the finishing touches. There you have it. Now we're going to program it. Here's another robot we're building here. It's from the Fisher Technique uh, Robo TX Training Lab. And with this model over here, you're able to make 11 different models. And those are all them there. So when you first launch the uh, RoboPro uh, software, you'll probably have to get a firmware update just like what we're doing now. It's going to take just a few minutes. Once you've done your firmware update, you can now use the test interface dialog. While you're in here, you can use uh, this to test your inputs and outputs uh, with lights, buzzers and motors. Now we can use our trail sensor. Let's just find it here. Trail searcher 2. Just gotta wait for it to open up. And from here, you just gotta basically just click start and watch the robot do thing, do it by itself. The robot is using the trail sensors to follow the black line which is being controlled under the RoboPro software wirelessly using Bluetooth. This model also has a distance sensor, temperature, light and color sensors as well. I hope you enjoyed our video of us building the RoboTX Explorer here. And next time we're going to try and use Microsoft Robotics Studio to control the RoboTX using a wireless Xbox controller. Now this should be really cool.